Hey yo, what is up? Welcome back to another video for Separate Ways. In this one we're doing Professional S Plus again, but now we're going to be using the bonuses. So we're going to use Chicken Hat. You unlock this for completing Hardcore Mode. And we're also going to be using Chicago Sweeper guys and the Elite Knife. So you don't need the Chicken Hat, that's sort of optional. But the Elite Knife and Chicago Sweeper you want of course. Yeah, when you begin guys, just grab that green herb and then come up here. You want the Elite Knife because I sell it later for 25,000. It's solely for money really. Um, but we want the Chicago Sweeper of course later so it's got infinite ammo. So grab that SMG ammo to begin with. And then run around the boss on the right. Loot this pot. And then come down to the door. Which should trigger his second phase. He'll still have the same HP. There you go, you'll know because he'll stop and um, do a sort of war cry. Run back up the top and now all we're going to do is going to pick off all the illusions with our TMP. Yeah, so just pick them all off one by one. They are finite, they will not keep respawning. Once you've killed, it's probably like 30 or so. They'll stop spawning, then you'll just have the boss to deal with. Don't stand still for too long, just run around picking them all off guys and once you've got them all, make sure there's definitely none left and then you can focus on the boss. The boss will be much slower at this point, that's what I like to do it in this way. Makes it much slower and then to kill the boss it will take about 32 headshots from the pistol and then that will kill them guys. Yeah so while you're all doing this, um, I'll just touch upon what you can expect in terms of because I'm not going to be using the paid DLC where you can buy the exclusive ticket yourself. If you want to, by all means do so and I'll probably give some pointers around that. But I'm doing it without paid DLC so we're going to be unlocking the Chicago Sweeper Infinite Ammo by the start of Chapter 4, just before the maze. Whereas normally you'd have to wait until after the maze to get it. Yeah, we're going to get unlock the um, exclusive ticket just before. There's a very, very sort of, kind of like a sequence break to um, get all the emblems in the maze area without triggering the maze. But it's a very, very specific way to do it and at the point of uploading this video, I'm kind of positive that nobody else has done that yet. Just because I'm sure nobody else has really took the um, time to experience it and find out how to sequence break that part. Speedruns won't do because they just wouldn't want to get the medallions in there. So I know they're not going to touch it. And outside speedrunners, not many of us actually like to um, test the games to this extent. But yeah, exclusive ticket, start of the maze in chapter chapter 4. If you're buying it from the shop in the PSN store, you can get an infin infinity ammo in chapter 2 from the first merchant. That make, obviously, and make it much easier from the get-go. But you find this video is two hours long because it's quite slow up to getting the upgrade tickets. But um, you'll find once you get Chicago Sweeper, I'm just having a bit of fun with it. You know, killing the enemies. It's quite fun killing all the enemies for that. Especially when all I've done is no bonuses on this for the sort of last few days. Yeah, so once you killed it, guys, come in here. Loot these two pots. And then we're going to loot the other pots and then make our way out. Yeah, I didn't say, did I? To um, to get the um, Chicago Sweeper, you have to complete professional on with an A rank. But you can do that on a, you can do that do that on New Game Plus. So from your first playthrough, you can actually continue to New Game Plus, and then use that to unlock the um, Chicago Sweeper. Elite Knife, you have to complete every request. You don't have to complete them all in one run. You can actually just reload saves, do the nearest request, hand it in. You've always got to make sure you hand it into Gary the merchant and then you can load a different save do another request near that so you don't necessarily have to do a full game to do any requests you missed you can just reload it's similar to the files in the other remakes you just grab it and it saves well grab it and hand it in of course so in here guys we're going to stealth kill this guy and we're going to stealth kill this guy so I do not go any further forward because she'll trigger some more enemies to spawn and to get a chicken out by the way to unlock you have complete hardcore with an S plus rank you can check the requirements on the game by going to menu and pressing the following button that will show you. Yeah, the game to tell you the requirements. Yeah, then come up here, grab that green herb, stealth kill this guy, grab that handgun ammo. 
come around here by the time you come around here this guy should come through here for some reason his AI does not recognize you I guess probably not switched on at the moment it's awareness detection yeah once you still have killed him loot that crate come up here grab that hand grenade and grab the gunpowder yeah until we get this cargo sweeper you gotta be very careful try to follow me as closely as possible yeah loot them two crates and grab that treasure we are pretty much collecting almost all treasures in this and doing I think we do all requests as well actually yeah come up here stealth kill this guy smash his two barrels once you break these two barrels start to walk if you run from here sometimes the guy below will hear you and he might change his direction slightly so walk from the barrels drop down here by the time you've done it that guy should be walking around the back of the gazebo drop down stealth kill this guy and then walk around and get the guy walking around the gazebo the reason I'm walking here is because of this guy walking around his detection seems to be a bit more alert than the rest if you run too close to this guy he'll turn around and trigger the alarm that's why you have to do it this way that's it you can run now for the time being now loot these two crates and um, get his treasure guys the splendid bangle come down here there'll be an enemy down here and coming down here normally triggers him he'll turn around and start to walk away from you so give him a knife to the neck from behind now come up here loot these two crates and then come in the small room and get the sniper and the scope yeah once we get the sweeper it's based pretty much easy mode the problem is it's quite weak to begin with because I think it only does like 0 0.4 damage by default yeah grab that flash grenade we're going to need it later come down here grab the ruby and grapple up to the ledge above loot these two crates and then grapple up here yeah I think you might like my way to um, getting all the emblems in the maze before <laughs> without triggering it right when you come up here stay close to the wall as I did as you run around to the back of the cannon because if you if you're too far to the right some of the enemies might be able to shoot you in the back between the wall but if you stick close to the left the wall sort of shielding you from the um, archers that's why you have to hook the wall and once you're on the cannon enemies can't hurt you at the moment but if you try to destroy the cannons on the left or right before killing the archers they might be able to snipe you then but just face it forward the cannon is blocking their bolts right once you killed all them and killed the um, cannons come up here loot the enemies grab them handgun bullets from them boxes from the top loot all the enemies which you killed here and then smash the two crates and then leave the area to complete chapter one you have to destroy the cannons before you come over here because they can actually hit you here they can't hit you where the cannon is your cannon but they can hit you right that's them um, chapter one done guys so if you've got the ticket from the PSN store you can actually um, use it in this chapter yeah once we get to him you got to get through this sort of first half of the chapter we can use it before the next boss and this next boss is probably one of the most annoying ones in the game even worse than that first boss at the start of chapter one so grab the knife and knife this guy from behind grapple across smash this next barrel loot it and knife this woman from behind roundhouse kick this guy knife him Grab the red herb and loot these two barrels. Any ye yellow herbs you come across, by the way, along the way, or red herbs, try to save them because we are going to be selling the green, red, yellow mixes. If you've got the DLC, the uh, paid DLC, the exclusive tickets, don't matter too much. Obviously, money is just very important early on. So kill that guy, loot the handgun bullets, loot these two crates. Come along here. Once you hear the roar, the enemy scream, turn around and come back now get ready to shoot that barrel just make sure you put that partition between you so they don't lob any axes at you 
And at last moment, shoot that barrel. Hopefully you'll kill three of the enemies. If not, it might just be one or two. And then come up here, loot this treasure. The red gemstone ring. Crouch beneath that trip wire. Come up here and loot this green herb. Now you're going to wait for the enemy to run into that trip wire. It should stun him for a moment. And then wait till last minute and drop down. Don't wait too long because that pig guy can actually hit you as you're jumping down. I'm trying to wait for the enemy to move around, move away. So I can jump down without jumping straight into an enemy. Now get your flashbang ready. Lob it around this corner before you go around. And then grab this yellow herb. Turn your body into the yellow herb. Then you're more likely to actually interact with the herb when you press X. As opposed to meleeing an enemy instead. Which can happen quite a lot. The amount of times I've gone to pick up a yellow herb. But I've meleeed an enemy instead. And it's messed up the whole strategy. And then quickly grapple across. Don't try to loot that crate near the yellow herb because you just won't have time. It'll mess everything up. Once you grappled over here, guys, loot the two crates and then make your way into the cabin. Yeah, because um, we need to save our spinals as well. Yeah, grab that kitchen knife and the small, well, the random item from the cabinet. I was going to say almost a small resource, but it's at random anyway. Yeah, come downstairs, knife this guy from behind, grab the green herb, loot these two barrels, head outside and knife the next woman, stealth kill her. Yeah, because um, we can't spend any spinals because we're saving up for the exclusive ticket, it's quite a bit different to my no bonuses run, just in terms of what we sell and what we buy. So shoot that two barrel, um, sorry, that barrel when the two enemies are close to it. And then get ready to shoot this one when the other two enemies come in. If they're not together, try to shoot the one running at you so he falls down near the barrel. And then wait for the other one to catch up. And then shoot it. That's a bit of an improvement on my um, no bonuses run, which I've improved on. Shoot that window, which I just shot out. Just shoot it two or three times. Because what will happen, if one the next two enemies will come in, one will be a pig guy. And one will be a normal enemy. If he tries to come in that window, he'll get stuck there for about a minute trying to break it and then when you go to open the big gate he might come from behind so shoot that just in case he tries to be annoying and go through that window now all I'm trying to do is lure these two enemies upstairs if only one comes then you just have to adapt but I thought only one was coming but I saw there the other one was coming up the ladder so then you jump down and then quickly open this gate while them two are still in the house you just try to lure them upstairs Obviously, so it takes them longer to get to you. Do you not want them to attack you just as you open the gate? Yeah, come around here. Loot these two crates. This treasure is very important. That's why I have to come and get it. Now, be ready with your flash grenade after getting the flag on. You might have to lob it before you get a treasure if they're too close. Or if you have time, get the treasure and then lob it afterwards. Yeah, no point in killing him. I just wanted to see if it did kill him. It don't. Yeah, I thought possibly... Knife in him might kill him, but I bet he hasn't got much HP left though, because the flash grenade and um, knife attack does quite a lot of damage to them guys. So get your TMP ready, stun this woman as you come past. Use your melee if you want to um, cover a bit of distance quicker, and then grapple across. Right, merchant is within sight guys. Right, first request is coming up. Grapple across, grapple across again. Give this guy a nice round out to the back. Knife him. Make sure he stays down. Loot this crate. And climb the ladder. Right, at the top of the ladder you can get the first medallion. Look up here. There she is. Yep, that's one of four. Grapple across. Now when you grapple across that one with a pole, do not walk forward. If you walk forward, the woman is going to start shooting you. Just stay where you are. And get that medallion in the tree. There it is. That's two off four. And that one hanging on the side of the cliff. Three off four. Right. Now grapple up there. I'm just trying to wait. Bait her arrows. Until she reloads. Because what can happen. As you. When you're trying to use your grapple look. The animation. You can actually get hit. During the animation. Yeah. Knife her. After kicking her down onto the floor. Press button. Number one. Number four. And number seven. If you're going clockwise. And shoot that last medallion. There she is. That's it. We've done that request, guys. Eradicate the blue medallions. 
Grapple across, just in time for church. Here we are. Right, we're just going to run up to the top of the church, guys. You can grab the loot in a second. Just get out the, ch just get to the church first, and then the enemies will stop attacking you. And once you get control back, yep, jump up on the top and grab the ruby. Yep, grab the ruby from there, guys. Just shoot the nest. Drop down. And come in here, loot the two crates and grab the gunpowder from the table. Come across here and grab the yellow herb and the barrel. Right, now we're going to come back into the, the um, courtyard, the cemetery. Going to loot this barrel. And then grab the um, loot from the drawer in the small cabin. The small shed. Do not stealth kill any of these. I, I think I was doing this run with um, with the elite knife in my hand, and because um, you could put it in your inventory at the end of chapter one, you know, from the um, chapter end menu. Yeah, I thought I was going to stealth kill all these to get a bit of um, some nice items, but once you stealth kill one, they all the rest of them get really angry and try to attack you. So don't stealth kill any of them. Right, here he is, Gary. So if you've got the exclusive tickets from the shop, the PS store, you can actually go and buy Infinite Ammo now for Chicago, Chicago Sweeper. If not, you just have to keep following me very, very closely. So come in here, grab the first ace break, loot the drawers, shoot down that treasure, the velvet blue, loot this cabinet. Yeah, I just like to loot this before I make a save. Yeah, we will be saving it in a second. Yeah, smash them two barrels. I make eight saves, by the way. So you've got two, two spare to play with. Loot that cabinet. Loot that. There's also gunpowder on the table there. I've got it, but I do actually get it on the way out. Yeah, obviously, obviously there's some two crates in there like I looted. Right. So, yeah, just going to make a save now, guys. You want to make a save here. Very important. This boss is quite annoying. Yeah, chicken out by the way, it seems to reduce your damage by about 50% by what I've noticed. Yeah, so it kind of halves damage, I guess. But it don't really help that much on professional, I don't think. Because sometimes enemies just do so much damage anyway. It still puts you down to danger. Sometimes, depending on what the attack is. So yeah, we're going to put both the rubies in the flag on. Then we're going to sell all that treasure, all the knives, all the hand grenades, all the TMP ammo, all the green, red, yellow mixes, all the first aid sprays. Gonna sell small resource, tactical knives, and the TMP guys. Sell all of that. That's give you a nice sum of money. Almost 100k you should have now. Right, and we're gonna buy only buy this, the attached case black. This is very, very important, trust me. And you are gonna have enough. So buy only the attached case blast with two spinals. Do not buy anything else ever until we've got enough to buy the exclusive ticket. And now we're gonna fully upgrade the power. On the black tail, I had like what six thousand remaining, so you have got enough to do so. And later on, I will be selling the elite knife for twenty-five thousand. And do not forget to equip the attached case black. That's very very important, guys. And any gunpowder and large resource you're getting, you're going to keep it, guys, for later for when we get a flash grenade. So yeah, any large resource, hold on to them. Yeah, there's that gunpowder on the table. So if you run out of ammo for this guy, you can just craft some. If you kept one resource small. I think I kept one actually from the shop, I don't sell them all. Yeah, so um, just go for headshots with this guy. I use my pistol, it's a, um, a sort of juggle between this, the sniper rifle or the shotgun. I tried them all. The shotgun's good if you get headshots, but it's very, very tricky getting headshots of this guy with a sniper rifle, unless you're well experienced. So, I go with the pistol. It's a bit easier to use. You've got a bit more ammo to play with, so you shots. It doesn't matter if you miss, you know, a few shots here and there. Yeah, but go with headshots. When he does that first roar, it's either going to spawn over there, or if you're facing the other way, he'll spawn near the, near the tower. 
But you can actually get some free shots in if you're ready for where he's going to spawn, like so. This is the second phase, only one enemy. Yeah, I know this fight this fight's very annoying. Yeah, you need to try and get headshots, otherwise you're gonna be wasting a lot of ammo. A lot of his attacks you can actually die if you can't get the distance away from him, sometimes it's better to actually run towards him. Like when he does that massive lunge attack where he extends his fingers, you can actually avoid that by running past him on the right. Some of the attacks can still get you even when you run past him, but it's, it's lunge, you can always miss that if you run past him on the right. So yeah, he'll either spawn there or where he did on the first phase. And again, you get some free shots in on the head before the other two enemies spawn in and he starts moving. But normally in his final phase, eventually he'll stagger and you'll be able to knife him for a massive amount of damage. Do not miss this knife prompt. It does a massive amount of damage to him. So do not miss that. That's it. Normally, once you've done the knife, he's got a tiny bit of HP left. So just a few more shots, and that should finish him off. Yeah, once the two illusions are walking around, do not stay still for too long. Especially when you don't know where they are. And I've got him. Not too bad. Obviously, it'd be much easier if you've got Chicago Sweeper already. Right, now we're going to do massive looting of the whole area. So come in here, grab the flash grenade. Come in here, grab the treasure. That is a sapphire. The rarest blue gem. Yeah, grab that crate. Grab these two crates out the window. That's it, jump back in. Come back out here, and we're actually going to grab a green herb. Yeah, there's a green herb in the bottom of this tower, by the way. Just in case you needed it in the past, that's where it is. Yeah, they come in the shed at the back, loot this crate. We're going to be using RPG on El Gigante, by the way. If you've got Infinity Sweeper already, you can probably just use that on him. But if not, we're going to be using RPG. Money gets very tight. Yeah, grab that shotgun ammo from the table. Loot them two crates. Right, I'm going to mix that green, red, yellow mix now. Yeah, come up here. Loot the hand grenade from the glass cabinet. Loot this box. And then dive out the window. Drop down off the back. Come here, loot the two barrels. We're not going to be getting any small keys, by the way. No small keys. You could later on, right at the end, you know, once we've got a sweeper. But I still don't really bother using them. Right, jump in here next. Loot the crate and grab the um, elegant perfume bottle. Once you've done so, unlock the door, head back outside. Get the two crates outside the barn. So the stable. And um, loot them two crates. And we're going to loot the small crate in the shack at the back. With no roof. Yeah, loot that, and that is it, guys. That's pretty much all the loot in this village area. Yep, in here next. Loot the shed for two crates. And then once you go through the gate up ahead, that'll be the end of the chapter. Yeah, trust me, them large resources can be very, very useful for flash grenading everything. Yeah, a lot of times it's flash to win. If you watch my no bonuses run, this is no different in terms of a flash grenade aspect. They trivialise so much, even with the infinite weapons. It's a shame Ada didn't get a better weapon, that they just gave the same one that Leon had. You would have thought she'd have something different. I think a few things are this a, bit, a little bit rushed. They've recycled too much from the main game, in a way. It's almost the same weapons, pretty much, isn't it? Same unlockables. Oh, wow, the cat set. You get the cat set instead of cat ears. We're pretty much the same. Yeah, right, come out here. Get the hand grenade. Get the gunpowder. Come down the steps. Loot this drawer. Loot this crate. Grab the red herb inside the bathroom. Back out here and um, check if the food is done yet. Oh, chicken. Forgot to turn the oven on. Chicken is still alive. Yeah, grab the egg. 
and then grab the extravagant cock over here. Right, grab the handgun ammo, loot the crate, and grab the green herb, and then grab the special key guys from behind the picture frame. Right, come up here and use the key on the cabinet guys, on the drawer, and take out the picture. Right, straight after the cutscene, get ready with your flash grenade, which we got from a village. Come downstairs and lob a flash grenade out the door. That should flash all the enemies. And I do actually mess up here quite a bit, you'll see. Yeah, now grapple across quickly. Now, I normally bait this enemy's lunge and then run past her, but I left it a bit too late to turn around. And look what happened. She caught me. Try not to leave it too late. Yeah, normally you'd bait her, let her lunge, then once she stopped, you'd run past her. You'll grapple across here. If you watch my no bonuses run, I made it work there. I just mess up here somehow. Right, come down here. As long as you're quick, you should be able to get through here before the enemies try to block you. I have had them block me before. Still after me, huh? Yeah. And, oh yeah, and you can manage to catch me here. Yeah, you'll find if you get slowed down at any point, it can mess up that whole thing. Like, I got slowed down by that woman who grabbed me. Right, once you're here, guys, you are safe. You're in the safe zone. Looks like I gave them the slip. We're going to go left down here and get the emeralds. We'll be making a save in a second. Yep, grab the emerald from here. We're going to make a save afterwards. Yeah, come up here, grab the gunpowder from side like minecart. Loot these two barrels. Grab the request if you want from the wall. Grab the shotgun bullets. There it is. Jacket of all trades. Come in here and grab the kitchen knife. Open the gate. Come in and knife the guy from behind. Yep, hop in here and knife this guy. And they're going to crouch beneath the tripwire and get the large resource from the um, top of that box over there. Now, before you jump in, just wait for this woman to turn around. You see, I messed it up and she saw me. You probably just want to wait the other side of the window until she sort of does another lap and turns her back to you. Then you can stealth kill this woman. Yeah, grab these handgun bullets and then stealth kill the, stealth kill the guy with Leon's jacket on. But obviously, because that woman saw me, he noticed me. And this guy as well, he'll come in that room on the far right. Sorry, the far left now as we're looking at it. He'll come from there. But the thing is, because your pistol is upgraded to max power, you'll kill these pretty quick anyway. So it's not the end of the day if they do see you. Right, grab Leon's jacket. Grab them handgun bullets. Loot this oven. This furnace. And loot this one as well. Come near and grab the, yeah, grab the TMP ammo. If you've got space for it. Sometimes I like to keep the rifle on me guys just because you've got a chance of finding ammo for it then. But I guess I'm going to have to put it away. Right, this blast blast crossbow guys, send it storage. You don't have to put it in inventory, just send it storage and pick up the blast arrows. Unlock that door and come inside. Come outside and make safe guys. So very different to my no bonuses run. We are not going to sell the blast crossbow or them blast arrows. That is very, very important. I can't emphasize how important it is to keep the blast crossbow along with the ammo. I'll explain why in a second. Alright, so you're going to sell treasure, sell the jacket, sell your hand grenades, TMP ammo, shotgun ammo, any green, red, yellow mixes. You can sell your, all your small resources now. And that's it. Remember, keep the crossbow and the ammo for it. But you can send the crossbow to storage for now. And that's all we're doing, guys. So we're going to make a save. I guess if you want you can take the um, rifle back out. There we go. Just so you've got a chance finding ammo for it. Yeah, so this is going to be save number two. Yeah, so quickly. Let me explain. So yeah, the blast crossbow comes in very useful for um, shooting, for sort of sequence breaking the um, request in the maze area. 
because what happens in the mazo if you go too far forward you trigger you trigger the fight there with the red cultist and the the door closes and you can't get out until you've killed him so so obviously you can't get infinite ammo until after you've killed him but the way to do it get infinite ammo before fighting him you need the blast crossbow because you have to you basically have to shoot two medallions which you can't see and that's where the blast crossbow comes in useful yeah loot them TMP ammo guys loot them two crates come in here grab the yellow herb and come in here and examine Lewis's footprints his little tiny footprints yeah touch them and then loot his two crates and then come around the back here and pick up his pack of cigarettes flip it around and check his number on the back here yeah. if you want a good time call this number yeah then tune into it right carry on forwards so these first two enemies I normally just kill them yep yeah. we made a save here because there's one part of this there's sort of it most of the time it works like 95 90 percent of the time it'll work but I've had a rare in I've had a rare instance where the strategy doesn't work just bad luck I guess so yeah normally kill them too just careful because one of them might mutate and as soon as you get into this room you need to be very quick run past this woman she'll normally run towards you to about there come in here quickly go out this gate and quickly start closing the valve yeah now the chainsaw lady on the left sometimes she might do a double swing and catch you but most times you just do a single swing like that it will always miss I don't know why and then you can you got just enough time to close the valve and get outside. But yeah, like I say, there's a random chance she'll do two swings and will kill you on the second. If it happens, just reload the safe. That's why we made a save at that point. Right, back in the Chief's Manor. We're going to come outside and get the red barrel from his chest. Yeah, pick up that. Then we're going to make our way back to the village. There'll be two enemies on your way back. Just pick them off with your power level 5 black tail. Yeah, I know it might seem like a waste upgrading the black tail for that second boss. You know, rather than the... Um, sniper but it does come in useful I mean it's good for killing them enemies in the abandoned factory and it's good for killing these two quick as well if you don't kill these two they will follow you back to the merchant I've tried running past them you can run past them if you're quick um, you might take a little bit of sort of chip damage from one of the tentacles but yeah I got to Gary and they followed me to him and he was not very happy he basically closed his shop so yeah kill these two first And once in the village, obviously Gary's just at the back here on the left. Yeah, I'm going to combine that to get a green, red, yellow mix. And I, I just ate my egg. I ate a raw egg because I've got a chicken mask on and made it extra yummier. Yeah, so we're going to talk to Gary. We're going to just unhighlight everything. Right, what, what we're going to sell? We're going to sell the TMP ammo, the green, red, yellow mix, which I have. Right, we're going to sell the black tail as well. We're going to sell the black tail. We're going to sell the elite knife. This is why we needed it. As you see, before we just had just under 160,000, but now we've got 180 almost. So buy the rocket launcher and then buy the black tail back. I know, why did we sell the black tail to buy it back? Well, because it's upgraded, it sold for quite a bit of money. Yeah, so buy it back because you will probably need it later. That's it, that's what we want guys, RPG, buy the black tail back, of course we sold the, um... yeah grab that flash grenade, yeah we sold the elite knife, I put the black tail away, I just wanted to buy it ready for later, right so get that flash grenade, come over here, smash them two crates, and then come around the back here, now just be careful, there is a guy inside here, sometimes if you make noise by that front door he'll walk out, but you want to come in here and grab the golden egg. Yep, yeah, the gold chicken egg. Then hop back outside. 
I've not got any knives actually, I messed up a bit. I sold my elite knife but I didn't save for one. So I've got to be careful, if I get grabbed I'm going to take more damage because I've no knife to stop the grab attack. So yep, just sprinting ahead now to the farm. Watch out for Mary there. That's a brother. Yeah, just went past them two. They're not the sharpest tools in the box, so they're quite easy to run past. Yeah, once you open the gates, if you're unlucky, you might get hit just after you've opened the gates. Yeah, loot them two barrels. That woman will chase you. Yes, yeah, so just be make sure you're fast. Now, most of the time, that woman will miss me, but just bad luck here. She managed to hit me. If I take that same path, well, I'm going to heal. There's a green herb here. Right, sprint head, grab this red herb in the box on the right. Uh, sorry, on the left, just as you get through the doorway. There you go, and grab the kitchen knife stuck in the brick. Because it's very sharp. Right, get your RPG ready, guys. And Kablooey to the El Gigante. Instant kill him. Of course, if you've already got infinite ammo for the sweeper, the money we spent on the RPG, you can put into upgrades for the um, sweeper power instead. And just kill him with the sweeper, guys. Right, that's chapter one. Two and number three done. So you can put a black tail in your inventory now. Yeah, do not save. So we're in chapter four now. Yeah, so we're going to be getting the um, infinite, infinite ammo here, guys. Right, so loot the um, drawer, loot this crate, loot this barrel. Sorry, barrel and then the crate. Grab the green herb, loot that crate, and then that is all the loot in this room, guys. Right, drop down the hatch. Unlock the sun door. That's it. Make sunrise happen. Come down here. Loot these two barrels and uh, loot the crate. And then grapple across, grapple above you and um, flip the door again. Right, drop down here. Yeah, I'm just thinking now, my quick turn is on R1, and I think that's what happens to me sometimes is when I go to grapple, I do a, a quick turn instead. I think that's why, so that's why I've just disabled it. Yeah, I think it just clicked. Wait, what's happening? Yeah, so loot them two barrels and the crate. Come down here, loot this crate. Now, I don't kill anybody, I just try to bait them down this path, and then I run down the opposite path. Uh, but if you're unlucky, most time I do this without getting damaged, but yeah, I didn't see it coming. I should have easily dodged that, but yeah. Just hold him there. That's it, let him hold Louis. And then come down here, guys, a big cutscene. Now get through the burning room and uh, rescue Louis at, at the end of it. Yeah, that's it. Tell him not to breathe it in. You need to separate the smoke from the oxygen when you're breathing. Yep. Yeah, once you come in here, loot this uh, crate. Come outside and loot this crate at the bottom. Thank you, Louis. Bloody close door in my face. What a gentleman he is. Yeah, come up the stairwell. Loot all the um, loot on the way up, guys. There'll be quite a few barrels on your way up. You do not want to know. It's one of them things I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you, type of thing, Louis. Yeah, carry on. Once you get up the ladder, you can drop down the hatch, and we're going to get that treasure. What tre I forget what treasure. I think it's a, I think it's a gold, a gold bar long. Is it? I'm just trying to remember the top of my head. Off the top of my head. Yeah, gold bar long. I think that's what the L stands for. It's not going to be, um, it could be large, I guess. Yeah, back up the ladder. Do not want to keep Louis waiting, otherwise he'll start tap dancing, and we do not want to see that again. Yep, yeah, break the padlock and coming in, guys. Right, now you're coming up to the dreaded night area now. I'm sure lots of people hate this part. I find it quite fun, actually, I think. 
because it needs quite a different strategy. Yep, come behind her and get a stealth kill. I always stealth kill her first before I go to see Gary. I think it's Gary. It could be his twin brother, Mike. No, I'm pretty sure it's Gary. Yeah, lift up that um, shelf. Yeah, loot that box and then pick up the tablet. Right, come and talk to him. Okay, guys, so we need to get ready for the armoured fight because this is the last time you're going to see Gary before the fight with the knights. Okay, so do not spend any spinals. I'm just unhighlighting everything. Yeah. Do not be deceived. I'm just unhighlighting it all. Right, so we bought a flash grenade recipe. Now we're going to craft as many flash grenades as we can. Look at that. I've gone from what? One, one flash grenade to like seven. Thank you. Welcome. Right, we're going to sell all our treasure. We're going to sell the gold egg. Um, we can sell the, light, the, sorry, the small resource. Right, now we're going to upgrade the rifle to level three. Level three only, guys, the rifle. That's all you want to do. That's it. The reason I upgrade it to level 3 is because at level 3, at most, most of the time, that will knock down a suit of armour. Yeah, you can also sell the um, extravagant cock as well. Yeah, at level 3, uh, a headshot from the um, rifle on the suit of armour will normally make him kneel. So you can do a melee attack as well. Yeah, you also just want to upgrade the reload speed on the rifle to level 2. That's it. Just so you reload a bit quicker. Honestly, when you reload at level 1, it takes ages to put the 5 rounds back into it. So yeah, I just upgrade it to um, level 2. So power level 3, guys, on the rifle and reload speed level 2. That is all you want. Right, time to push on. Where are we? Oh yeah, we are in the castle. Right. Red, green. I'll mix it. Right, this guy down here, just be careful because he might be walking back towards you on his, um, on his lap. So make sure he's facing away that he can get a nice quick stealth kill on him. Like so. Right, loot the barrel, pick up the tablet, and then do this really complicated puzzle. No, it's not. Right, so place them both. And the first one, you just put them in the clockwise, the next slot clockwise. And then you just rotate it if it's a different colour. Very easy. Clockwise, put it in the next slot, rotate it if it's a different colour. That's all you got to do. Right, come in here. And um, get the hang, hang grenade ammo from there. That's been very, very well preserved. Yeah, loot that crate and um, get that treasure. The velvet blue. Pick up the red herb. Get that barrel, right, and shoot that shield, that shield, and that shield. That should unlock this special drawer. That must be the ink. There you go, get the red ink. That puzzle took me quite a good few minutes to work out because there's so many shields on the wall. I didn't know what one it's referring to. And then I, I got the right one, I guess. Right, after the cutscene, come along here, grab this flash grenade, another one. Loot that crate. And um, grapple across. We're going to be making a safe here, but not until after the after. Because if you die, you do not want to have to keep doing this. Yeah, grab the handgun ammo. I don't think I realised that I was saying my no bonuses run. Yep, yeah, obviously open all the doors and grab the loot on your way through. Seems simple enough. Yeah, I've never died here. I'm not sure if I've just been lucky. I don't know. But yeah, that's why I make my safe after. You should not die on this um, on this death trap. Yeah, so as soon as you pick up the Crimson Lantern, put it in your back pocket. I've got a bad feeling about this. Right, and get ready to um, open the gates quickly. So you've got to shoot the three eagles first again to begin with. Kill the three spread eagles. And then it's the three serpents. You can shoot the other ones while the door is opening. And then the two snakes. Yep, thought I missed one. No, I hadn't. Doubting my own abilities there. Right, and grapple through here, guys. And that's it. Very easy to do that, I think. Not like the um, the minecart section. 
in the in the main story or even the role in head in Resident Evil 3 remake so hang the um, crimson lantern right make sure you got the scope equipped on the rifle and then save your game this should be save number three right we're very very close to getting the exclusive upgrade ticket right so these armors three of these are optional but we're going to kill them for the spinals right loot that base loot this base and also grab the vintage compass from here don't don't it doesn't work do not try and use it right come around the back here I think it's just constantly spinning around when you open it. Yeah, grab a silver bottle. Right, we're going to kill these Knights of Armors. Now, if you go too far forward, you're going to trigger the second one. But if you lure this guy back, you can just fight one at a time. But what we're going to do here, to try and conserve flash grenades, you don't have to. I mean, we're going to have plenty. I normally knock off his helmet, then I run forward to trigger the second one. Uh, but I quickly place that silver bottle, come through the gates, and then from here, I get them both. Right, and then once they're both exposed, lob the flash, and that will do them both. So two spinals here. One there. And um, one there. Well, it might not be. I think there's like a nine, you've got like a 90% chance, yeah, loot them two pots as well. You've got 90% chance to get a spinal from them, but I think there's like a 10% chance you might get your, um, you might get another item. Right, yeah, come down the bottom and then come back up and you'll see a third knight has spawned. You have to go all the way down the bottom of the steps and then turn around. I don't know why this guy spawns after you go all the way back down. I've tried going halfway down the steps, that doesn't spawn him. I think it's in a way, it's in case you forget. They sure, sort of punished you if you forget about this. Yeah, it's like a punishment for forgetting, which is kind of harsh. Because obviously if you forgot, the gate is open and he's going to come in. But yeah, you kill him for an extra spinal. Hopefully he'll drop one for you. Put that silver bottle down. I think I and what you can do anyway, if you don't get enough spinals from here, we've made a save, you can just do this bit again. But you should easily get enough. Right, grab this loot first and then get ready to do this section. So this is where all your flash grenades are going to come in useful, guys. Yeah, grab the gold bottle. Now when you go halfway back down the room, it'll trigger the... Uh, fence come down and these two are, these two will spawn these two knights I wait a moment and then I'll get that guy because if you're too quick yeah that other knight will actually hit you just actually stop the animation but if you time it right you can actually cause that knight to hit you or perform this attack during the animation where you're invincible right and the key here is to kill both of these at the same time because once you've killed the first knight in this gauntlet it will trigger a third knight to spawn and it will also trigger the archers to come in. So the key here is to kill both of these at the same time guys. It's a little bit annoying and finicky but just do the best you can. It's honestly going to be so much easier. It's easier to kill both of these at the same time than what it is having to fight two of them and two archers at the same time. Without the um, back hallway open. Right, once both power slides are exposed you might want to um, just reload your rifle first to begin with before you lob a flash. And it can be ready to kill this guy as soon as he spawns. If you're not reloaded beforehand, you will not have time to reload and get him before he starts moving. And you can get this guy. Do not shoot this guy straight away because he seems to be invincible. Wait a few seconds and then shoot him. And what we're doing, we're lobbing a flash as soon as the power sites are exposed now, guys. We're not taking any chances. As soon as the power site becomes exposed, lob a flash. And yep, that's a floating helmet you just saw for seconds. Your eyes were not deceiving you. They were not playing tricks on you. That helmet was floating. Right, one more left. Got him. Not too bad. Sometimes that does go very... Sometimes them knights will just instant kill you. If you've got... You know, a small amount of health left. And they do one of their stronger... Sort of slam attacks. But yeah, most time I can pull that off. Just like so. Right... Yeah, the last three, obviously you can see, I tried to bait them in this last sort of petition at the back where the small chest is because it blocks you from the archers. And then once you killed all three of the knights, you're going to take out the two archers carefully. Once there's one left, you can start walking towards him. Yeah, ready to uh, melee him when the prompt appears. There you go, got all the enemies. Okay, so um, these knights would have all dropped a few spinals. There was six knights 
in this room and obviously three nights before. So nine nights total for a total of a potential nine spinals. Now if you've got bad RNG, you should get at least seven. Yep, another some, some something else floating there, a floating plank. Physics are just going crazy right now. Too much going on in this room. Yeah, you should have you should have at least six spinals. You need six maximum. Uh, sorry, six at least. If you have five, you will not have enough guys unless you found one in um, unless you found one in a, a crate somewhere, or it might be seven actually, seven that you need. Yep. Then we're going to get his treasure, guys, and make way up the ladder to Gary. Yeah. Well, you get you get so I think you get seven. You get seven. Or is it six from the first medallion request? I think it's six, then seven, and then seven from um, from his third request. So you get you get nineteen you get nineteen total from request up to the maze. Nineteen total. Obviously, we spent two on the attached case black, so that put us at seventeen. So yeah, I guess you need seven at least from the knights. If you did not get seven spinals from them then reload unless of course you found one basically at this point you need 18 because you're going to get you're going to get seven spinals from this request in a second so yeah you need 18 right we're going to come up here we're going to loot a green herb loot these two fish come around here grab the velvet blue yeah, we are going to be making a save in a second, but safe is not really needed here. Well, it is, but not for the reasons you think so. So loot that crate, grab this large resource. Do not go too far into this room, otherwise you're going to trigger the maze battle to tri to begin. Yeah, so I'm just grabbing that large resource, then I'm coming back through here. I'm going to loot these two crates. Yep, then come out here, guys. And take the red barrel. Yeah, right. So we're going to make a safe here, but it's it's just in case you mess up and miss one of the medallions because you've only got three blast, three blast ammo for the crossbow. That's why we make the save. So it's not because this is a tricky part. It's just because if you mess up, you're going to run out of ammo. So you're going to sell all your treasure. Obviously, the treasure which you can't combine anything into, but obviously keep your gems like always. Sell the black blast large. Sell the small resource. Right, and now guys, we need to try and fit the blast crossbow into our inventory. You want the blast crossbow, the rifle, and the pistol. Yeah, you can, I guess you could, if you can't fit them all in, you could just come back. You could do the blast crossbow a bit, come back, put that away or sell it, and um, get the rifle out. We'll try to put them all in if you can, it'll just save you having to come back. But to be honest, the time I spend messing about with my inventory here, I probably could have just ran, shot two of them, saving a minute. So I just wanted to have weapons ready um, before we make the save. That That's all it is. I have actually got space because the blast crossbow takes, it's um, five by three. So I do actually have space right now. Yes, yeah, five by three. It's a sweeper which takes a lot. But once you've got a sweeper, I think in chapter 5, is it chapter 5? Yeah, we will be buying the upgrade for the case. So just get to chapter 5, guys, and we will be buying a bigger inventory case. Right, so save your game once you've got your weapons ready. And obviously you've still got your fast, your, sorry, your blast bolts as well. Okay, so we'll do the blast crossbow bit to begin with. So do not go any further than this, shand this um, candle here. Do not go any further than there, otherwise you're going to trigger the battle. Now, you see that part of the pillar? You need to shoot about there with your blast crossbow. No, see that missed. And it's a bit finicky. Sometimes it, even if it looks like you hit it, you'll miss. There you go, got it. That's will get that medallion. And this one, guys, you need to shoot. You see that brick there? Shoot that brick. And that will get that medallion. That's it. That's the two which you can't normally get, and that's how you get them, guys. If you wasted all your ammo and missed them, just reload. Then come up here. Now, do not go any further forward on this upper balcony, otherwise you'll trigger the fight. You get that third medallion. Yeah, if you go past that sort of invisible line there, 
that triggers the fight. Trust me, I know. I spent time working all this out for you. Right, and now we're just going to use our pistol, or a rifle if you want, because we're going to be selling it in a second. Yeah, so hit that one, turn around, and hit that one, guys. That That's it. All five medallions shot without triggering, triggering the fight. Right, now we're going to come back. You'll have seven more spinals, and you should just have enough now. Yeah, I've got 26 because I found one earlier in a box, I think. Right, so what you can do now, you can sell your handgun ammo, you can sell your rifle ammo as well, you're not going to need it. Yeah, sell your rifle, sell your black tail, and sell the blast crossbow as well, guys. You do not need that either. You can actually sell the scope as well. So yeah, you can sell the scope, the rifle, or your rifle ammo. And then what we're going to do then, we're going to take a sweeper from the case. We're going to come back to Gary. We're going to trade for the exclusive upgrade ticket, 25 spinals. Right, and um, you want to upgrade the power on it. Well, obviously, first you want to um, buy the exclusive. That's infinite ammo. And then upgrade the power to level 2. That will double your damage almost. Took you from 0.4 to 0.8. And then every time we can buy an upgrade, guys, we're going to just buy the um, power upgrade for the sweeper. Right, you do want to flash for this. You're still going to need flash grenades for certain parts. Yeah, so come down here. After the cutscene, grab that flash grenade. Zip line over there. Now, you're, good, you're still going to have to flash her, by the way. You still want to flash her. Flash her and then knife her. If you did not have a knife, you probably can, you could just buy your knife back. Yeah, from Gary, and then do this. And once you flash her, you want to knife her to knock her down, and then shoot her once you're knocked down on the floor. You'll find if you just start shooting her, you won't do anything, and she'll run away. You have to flash her and then knife her to knock her down. Before you start shooting her. Yep. And then you want to come down here. Because there's normally only one enemy down here. And you can turn around and get the others. That's it. Now it's going to be about three or four enemies coming for you. Yeah. This guy I was looking for. Normally he's already here waiting. Yep. Now there's probably two more enemies I think. Yeah, now loot them two crates once you've got them sort of first three or four enemies. Then you come back around here. There's going to be a, a guy of a scythe here. It's actually on the side of that fountain. It's some gunpowder, but I've already got it. Yeah, there's a guy of a scythe. Kill him. This is awesome for stun stunning enemies, though. Got to admit. Yeah, loot the pot. Grab a flash grenade, guys, and loot this treasure. The butterfly statue. Or lamp, sorry. Right, come in here. Loot him. Right, grapple across. Now, it's probably, I think there's one more enemy. Yep, there he is. Yeah, loot that um, breakable. We're just going to be grabbing all the loot in the area now, guys, before we move on. Because we still need all these flash grenades, and obviously you're going to need health items sometimes. If you're low on health, there's more chances for green herbs to appear, by the way. Yeah, in total there should be so you got you got the red the um the red leader. You got him. Then as well as him, there's um one, two, three, four. There's six enemies, I believe it is. Six additional enemies. So if you only, if you've only killed five, there's probably one more. But normally what happens is when you lob a flash grenade, that normally kills one of them. Because when he does his chant at the start, that normally triggers a power sight on one of them. And the flash normally attack. The flash normally kills it because he's actually just behind the bushes on the left. But yeah, six enemies total, guys, as well as the red leader. Right, so just going to come around here, loot this crate. We've almost done here, guys. And the gate back to Gary is back open now. By the way, it closes once a fight begins, but once you kill the red leader, it opens again. Obviously, make sure you took the moonstone from the red leader when you killed him. I'm sure you did. Yeah, loot this crate. Make sure you don't forget to take loot. And then loot this one. And then that's it, guys. Now we can head upstairs. Um, grab the loot on the balcony. And then push on. Now, I took the wrong path. The balcony above, there's a gap. But it's from the other side. We can grapple across the um, hedge. I wonder them grapple points are there on, um, on Leon's campaign. Do you reckon they were there? Already put in there, ready for separate ways? This could be telling, because that could have been a little. That could have been a way to tell if separate waves was always in the cards. 
if they were already there for Leon to walk through. It's got me wondering now. Yeah, loot them two crates and then come up here guys and unlock the gate with a moonstone. Head inside, grab the treasure. It should be a blue diamond, a sapphire. Otherwise known as a sapphire. Right, come outside if you can find your way without getting lost. Yeah, grab a cross. Now yeah, it's going to be very easy going forward guys. All we need an RPG for now with the sweeper is for Sadler at the end. Even a fully upgraded sweeper will not stun him. He'll still get a lot of attacks in. Yeah, grab that yellow herb. Loot these two crates and then grapple up to the roof. Yeah, so the only RPG you need for it is Sadler. I guess you could use it for um, the U3 boss. But obviously that would be 160,000 waste just, just gone instantly. When you, it's best just use a sweeper. And um, you might need to heal a few times. But yeah, it does it does the job pretty well. Yeah, kill our first enemy. Loot these two barrels. Drop down. Kill this enemy. Now, shooting this one normally triggers the third one to, um, it normally alerts him. So, just be ready for a third one to run in. Yeah, loot that ruby. Loot that crate. And here he is. Yeah, like I said, be ready for this guy. He's probably going to be alerted from your gunfire. You're making quite a racket. You're shooting about a million bullets, but hitting like 10 of them. So inaccurate, this weapon is. Right, going to come near. Going to loot that barrel. The crate. I'm going to flip the switch. We're going to drop down and come in this room. We're going to loot the two barrels and also get the treasure. Yep, the golden hourglass. Right, climb up the ladder and then grapple up there. Yeah, once up here, jump off to the left and um, loot the small case and then put a code in for the butterfly charm yeah the yellow diamond in there the code for this guys is the beetle with a scarab but it's a beetle with like a square beak the square sort of antenna the claws yeah it's sort of like a square shape yeah then it's the um sort of done the well the red leader his head and then it's a lizard and then open the case and pick up the butterfly charm Yep, chapter 4, end. Chapter 5 begins. The double Garador room, you can't, even with that, you can't just run in with a sweeper. You still need flash grenades to stun them. Otherwise, you know, to expose, to stun them so you can get behind and shoot their weak points. So your flash grenades, even with infinite ammo, still can be very useful. I mean, if you had infinite rocket launcher, it'd be completely different. Yeah, so run in and out of them. Come up here and grapple to the roof. Loot this chest for uh, the pearl bangle. Loot them two crates. Come down the steps. Always craft flash grenades, guys, when you've got the um, materials to do so. Right, open this gate. I didn't do this on my um, no bonuses run, but I wish I did actually. I think I remembered there being an, an enemy down here, that's why I didn't. So you're going to drop down here and grab a loot. Yeah, come around here, loot that crate. Yeah, that's a file. It's up to you if you want to pick it up. Climb a ladder. Yeah, loot them. There's some good loot in here, you know, an extra few thousand or whatever. Yeah, loot the shotgun bullets. I don't have space, so I'm just going to leave them here. It's not like I need them. Right, unlock that gate. Come back through here and now take a left. Right, hop down here. Kill this guy quickly. And then kill these two guys in here. Careful, because he's still on the, he always lobs his axe at you, so be careful. This is awesome for stunning enemies. Yeah, flip that. I think later I just went a bit overboard. I was killing enemies when there's no need. But I will let you know if you have to kill the enemies or not, guys. You know if it helps. Yeah, grab the elegant crown. Definitely want to get that. Well, definitely everything I collect you want to collect. 
But yeah, there'll just be a few points later where I kill enemies I don't need to just because I was having a bit too much fun with the sweeper. From this point on, by the way, I hadn't actually done this yet with the sweeper. I'm sort of recording it as I was going through. As a look back now, actually, I, I wish I actually just ran past most of the later enemies. But like I said, I was just having a bit of fun. Yeah, so once you get down here, come up here and grab the velvet blue. Yes, you probably notice my no bonuses run is actually a little bit quicker than this. It's just because in there I had to run past the enemies, of course. But here I can kill them. But I kill the regenerators as well, actually, in this. Yeah, I do the regenerator quest. You know the ornate beetles in the, um, in the facility? I actually kill them, kill the regenerators to get them. But you can't, you can't actually do that for no bonuses just because they take too much ammo and take too much time. Remember, we're still trying to do this in 230 for the S plus and a minimum of 10 saves. Right, so grab them blast arrows, we can sell them later. I think I actually forgot to do commentary um, at the start. I forgot to tell you exactly the requirements for S plus. I just have to put an overlay about that actually. Yeah, so kill these two. These three, sorry. Yeah, it does take quite a long time to kill them, but it's just because your damage needs to upgrade them further. That's why. Yeah, so there's actually a treasure above them. There it is. Shoot it down. So once you kill them all, grab a loot. Yeah, so normally on no bonuses, I would just flash all them and run past. Yeah, grab the yellow herb. I'd grab the yellow herb and treasure still. But yeah, I'd normally just flash and run past. Come here, guys. Take a right and loot these two crates. Yeah, you'll see if you just got a sweeper, you won't find any ammo anymore because it seems you can't find ammo for that. But you, you'll start getting tons of large resource. You'll end up with loads of flash grenades. I actually have to start selling my flash grenades because I just have too much. I think I had like 20 at one point. As long as you've got about 8 at a time, that's all you should need guys to carry you for the next bit. Yes, yeah, so that request Lord of the Waterway, we will do that. Like I say, we do all requests in this. Right, so now hopefully we can upgrade, yeah, we're going to buy the um, large attached case actually. Yeah, so buy the largest attached case of 36,000. And then we'll see what we can sell. So you can sell... Obviously, don't sell anything which you can't combine that you can combine with. Do not sell that, and do not sell sell your diamonds, of course. Yeah, sell green, red, yellow mix. Sell your small resource and your blast arrows. Right, so butterfly lamp. I can actually put. Can I yet? No, I can't. Oh yeah, I can put three rubies in it. But I think I'm going to wait and put some sapphires in it later on. But right now, you should be able to make the elegant crown, guys. You should have one of each. So put in one emerald one alexandrite and one red bell and then one sapphire and one yellow diamond there you go 100k sell that and they can upgrade the um sweeper a little bit more so expensive them upgrades are yep that will be all for now until later my friends we will be back what are you buying Yep, grab the um, gunpowder off the side of that railing. Kill this guy. Oh, got a sapphire, looky me. Yep, kill this guy. So yeah, they, these can drop sapphires. I mean, I do actually use three sapphires later, but I guess if you're unlucky and didn't get a sapphire from one of these bugs, then it's not a big problem. I mean, we've got infinite ammo. It just means I just managed to get my upgrades a bit sooner, that's all. So kill the archer. Kill this, I have no idea what I'm doing there. It's it's kind of like a fire at will situation. There he is, trying to hide from me. I could see your wings flapping about. So yeah, watch out for that archer. Use a pillar as a shield. Yeah, that's a 200 IQ tip. Use a pillar as a shield. Right, come in here. And um, loot the two crates. Loot the biosensor scope. Never use it, but there it is. If you come down here before activating the valve, the enemies will not have spawned, so you will not get shot while looting that. But if you turn the valve and then go down, there'll be enemies shooting you with crossbows. Yeah, so grab that pearl and ruby's treasure, the mirror. And then come in here and lower the water. Splish, splash, splosh. That should take care of the water, I hope. Right, we've drained the water. I was 
undecided here. Do I go and kill the crossbows or do I not? And yeah, obviously I decided on the latter, not to kill them. Right, it's going to make our way back along here. There's actually a bug attached to the wall down the bottom, but he doesn't normally trigger. I guess I ran too close to him. But if he does trigger, just kill him. Otherwise, we're going to kill him when we're downstairs. That's it. Make sure you get rid of him. Right, then come in here and make sure you loot this guy. Which we killed earlier. And we're going to jump down in the splish splash splosh part. There you go, jump down. Yeah, there he is, the snake. I found him finally. I can never find him. I know he's there, but he normally eludes me. But I caught him this time. Right, come in here. There's actually a box on the right there. I forgot about it, but I do get it on the way back. Yeah, so kill that guy. With a million bullets. Thank God this thing's got infinite ammo. Right, I'm going to kill these two archers, just because. They can shoot you from behind as you're running back through that tunnel. Right, grab the handgun bullets. Then kill this guy next. Yeah, you don't have to kill these. But like I say, when you're running back through the tunnel, they can shoot you from behind, I guess. So probably it's a good way to get rid of him. Yeah, shoot that bug up on the wall. Surprise him before he surprises you. Climb the ladder, go left. Grab the Alexandrite from his chest. Now, thank you very much. Right, let's unlock the shortcut gate and loot these two bodies. Oh look, I forgot some loot below. And yeah, because I just can't help it, I had to go back down and pick up that loot which I saw. But actually it's quite lucky because I actually managed to loot the chest as well. Not the chest, the box I missed in that passage. I have no idea how I missed that. Yeah, this box down here, I missed it earlier, I forgot about it. Yeah, there it is. How could I miss it? It's got yellow writing on the front, for goodness sake. Right, now I always make a save here. Yeah, there's a large resource on that side of that mushroom. Almost forgot that. That's always there. Right, Gary. See what I can sell to you. So, yeah, mirrors with pills and rubies. You can have that, mate. What else? No, I think that's all I've got to give you at the moment. Oh, yeah, you can send the scope to storage and then save your game, guys. I make a save here because it's before the um, double Garados. And, yeah. If you're unlucky, you could get instant killed here. You know, get decapitated by the Wolverine's claws. So yeah, I always think that's a good spot to make a save. Right, it's going to be two of these in the water. Be ready to shoot them. These are quite annoying if you have a weak weapon. But luckily we've got the... Well, it kind of... Weak bullets, but luckily we've got like a million. Right, loot that crate. Come in here, grab all this loot on the floor from the enemies we killed earlier. Kill that guy. That's it, just unlock him. Shoot that treasure down. And um, loot this box. And then craft, crouch beneath here, guys. And there it is, the Lord of the Waterway. Yeah, it's a fish. So I actually shot that when I was shooting that guy before. If not, he would normally just be swimming around here, just near where we came through. Right, it's going to be a bug here. I'll just show you this sort of on the map near where he spawns. So make sure you get, you're get you ready to kill him and get rid of him quickly. Loot this crate and then come back through here. Now I'll show you another spot where another bug spawns. Oh, it's gunpowder there. Almost, I would have forgot that if I didn't check the map. Yeah, so you see that corridor leading to the path we need to go through. A bug will spawn along there. Yeah, grab that gunpowder times five. And be ready to shoot this bug. There you go. If in doubt, just spray one million bullets. Surely one of them's got hit. Yeah, then crouch beneath here, guys, and climb out. Ready for the double Garador fight. Almost there. Yep, let's craft some more flash grenades. I don't have too many. I best craft a few. Hopefully you've got more flash grenades than me, but I think I can make them work. Right, come in here. Take a left. Grab the resource small. Loot the two crates. Loot the um, gunpowder and first aid spray. Loot the crate there. 
Right, so you're going to have to use flash grenades here sometimes, guys. If you've got any heavy grenades, you can use them, by the way. They do quite a bit of damage to these guys. I'm just using it for because I have it. It's not necessary. Right, see, that's what will happen if you don't use your flash grenades. Use your flashes. Luckily, I had enough health that I didn't get instant killed there. Do not eat the fish, whatever you do. Yep, so just flash to win. Flash, shoot them from behind. There you go. Another flash if they um, wake up. Snap out of it. There you go, got him. And I, I think this way I'll get... Do I get hit from behind here? Yes, I did. Now, I could have healed here, but I think I decided I wanted to kill them all. I do not... I don't want to use my first ace break because I want to sell it. But yeah, I got very, very close there. Do not give him chance to attack. You don't have to kill them, but I just wanted to kill everything because I, because I can basically. Yeah, grab the two gold bars from the garage doors, which they dropped. Grab the blast arrows from this corner, nicely tucked in the corner. The blast arrows are always difficult to see when they're on the floor with loot. Well, I'm not healing because there's a green herb up here, which I'm going to use. Yep, use that crate, smash it and loot it. Grab the gunpowder from the barrels. I don't know why I crafted that. No need to craft rifle ammo, guys, honestly. And grab that green herb. Loot these two crates further ahead and then use the elevator. L like I was saying, this is the first time I've run through this last half um, with a sweeper. The first half, you know, up to getting the sweeper, yeah, I spent a lot of time practicing all that. You know, just trying to optimize what treasures to sell, you know, how to get the RPG early, if we can spare to buy the attached case black at the start, exactly how much we get from the knights, spinals when we kill them. But yeah, after getting the sweeper, this is pretty much my first time running it. So, but like I said, I do know a thing from my S plus bonus, no bonuses run. I have done a lot of testing. I know where all the enemies come from and stuff. I guess it's just a point where I've not really developed a perfect strategy for the sweeper. But you don't really need it. You got infinite ammo. So yeah, loot them two barrels and then talk to Gary. Now hopefully you can upgrade your damage again. Yeah, sell the Lord of the Watchway. That will complete a request. Sell any remaining grenades, hand grenades, sorry. So your first aid spray. Sell your small resource. And your blast arrows. Well yep, hopefully you got enough. If not, what we're going to do in a second? Well yeah, we're going to. I'm actually going to buy a sapphire. Now, if you don't have two sapphires, you could do it with rubies. The thing is, I want to try and keep them rubies later to put them in the ornate well. necklace. That's the thing. Yeah, you are going to get an ornate necklace later, and I'm actually going to put two red barrels and two rubies inside it. So, but you could just mix them up if you wanted. Yeah, but I'm going to put three sapphires inside it. I got one lease from the bug, remember? Welcome. Yep, and I'm going to sell it. You could put two sapphires and one diamond in it, I guess. One yellow diamond. Right, I'm going to buy one more upgrade for the sweeper. That puts us up. Is that level... Th am I at level three now? Or level four? Oh, I'm at level four, aren't I? Yeah, so level four upgrade. Right, so, um, yeah, you three. You can sort of still knock him the first aid, sort of. Um, you need to try to hit him in the head constantly. I guess perhaps if you went a bit closer so your bullets were more accurate, that might work better. Like start with a flash, get close, and then just run up to him and then just shoot from there. Yeah, that might be better actually. Because you see here, some of my bullets are missing. And you still, you do more or less stun knock him, but sometimes there's a few seconds between, you know, like so, and he might get a chance to do an attack. And there we go. So not too difficult, but yeah, I'd probably start that fight with a flash. Yeah, start with a flash, and then run up to him, and then start spraying him. That might work better. Perhaps. But it's fairly easy anyway, guys. Okay, so once you've got all the loot in the area, 
Go and pick up the item near the boss, and that should trigger the second fight. So again, just shoot its weak point, guys. Not too difficult. I think if you shoot this guy anywhere, it's still doing damage. I mean, of course, his weak point does more damage. But if you just keep shooting him, obviously try to go for his weak point if you can. If not, just shoot him anywhere. I think it's always dealing damage to him. Yeah, watch out for when he sort of crawls towards you like he just did a second ago and damaged me. I saw it come in, but I couldn't quite get out of the way in time. Right. Yeah, when he's digging, when he's underneath you, just be ready with a circle button. I always, when he's inside the floor, I've almost always got my finger above circle, ready to press it. And then just apply the pressure, guys. Keep shooting him. Once you get the R2 attack appear, the knife prompt, you can do that. Probably best, you know, it might be best to actually just run behind him and just unload into a sweep point. But, but yeah, do this. I have to do this on the no bonuses run. But we actually use sniper rifle on that. The stingray. Right, so if you do enough damage, you will knock him down. He normally, when he calls on CNA, he'll normally sort of dive at you eventually. But yeah, you can knock him down if you do enough damage. And yeah, you can hit the weak point from behind, it looks like. As long as you get the right spot. And there it is, guys. Got him. Not too bad. Right, now we're going to grab all the loot in the area. He didn't even get a chance to summon his little minions. If he does summon the bugs, use a flash grenade to stun them. That will stun them for about 30 seconds. Yep, and then you can focus on the boss again. Yep, grab the green herb. All the barrels in the area. And then carry on for a tunnel. Not much left, guys. If I wasn't killing all the enemies, you could get through this last half hour probably a lot quicker. Or last 40 minutes. Yeah, so now we're in the cave, guys. Just going to make our way up. And then we will actually be making a save in a second. Just because it's quite easy to get instant killed here. Yeah, it's very, very, very easy to get instant killed. So, might be worth making a save. You do not want, you know, to get all this way. And just for them pistons to kill you. And have to do it all again. You know, the U3 boss. And the double Gyarados. You know what? I'm actually really looking forward to getting back onto Lysa P. I was hoping to upload videos for that alongside doing this, but. To get this up quick, I've had to just put all my focus into this to get it. Get separate ways planned out and optimized. Yeah, so loot these two crates and the other two. Jump over here. And we're actually going to do the request here. But can see that you can see this bug from where we where we are right now. Look at that crate, look up there. You see that bug on the wall? There you go. That's the first bug of number three for the um, one of the requests. Now drop down here. Now I'm just going to kill this guy quickly. Drop down here first. Because you might love an axe, that should avoid it. Yeah, loot that crate. And then you can either wait for him to come down or kill him from here. Right, once he's down and out for the count. Head upstairs, up the ladder, and finish him off if he's still shaking around on the floor. Yeah, loot the crate and then come up here and kill this enemy. This enemy always spawns a parasite, the tentacle type. Right, and then turn this valve. Now, what will happen with this valve? The other enemies don't spawn until you let go and run to the ladder. Only that one enemy there spawns to begin with. So what I normally do, hold the valve until he runs down the steps and then run down here. Then with that timing, you'll jump down the ladder as he's climbing it. And you'll, then you'll be able to quickly grapple up here and you'll avoid all the other enemies. Nice, easy way to do that without running into anybody and getting interrupted. So once through there, guys, going to come in here, talk to Gary. We're going to make a safe. You can get another upgrade to your attached case, but you actually it's not available until New Game Plus for some reason. I can be welcome. What can I right, yeah, sell your housekeeper's barrette, velvet blue, um, grenades. Do you much good I'm going to sell some of my flash grenades, I've got far too many. 
We'll try to keep about eight. Eight's always a good number to have. You can burn through them pretty fast, but eight's normally always will always cover you for um, whatever area you come across. Right, that's a request we're going to be doing. Bug Buster. Right, and let's make a save. This save is only, you know, only for this bit in case you get killed by the pistons. You don't have to make a save here, guys. I mean, if you're confident you can get through the pistons without getting instant killed, then don't save. But, yeah, it, it can happen. It can happen. So, we're going to kill all the enemies along here. Well, this first bunch anyway. Because um, the one in the corridor with a torch, if you don't do it correctly, it, she can hit you. So you just kill her instead. There you go. Right, kill the shield guy. Right, then this bit I'm going to do it just how I do it in the no bonuses run. So I'm going to sprint along here. There's an item there. A flash grenade. Pick it up. Run behind that wall. Just to avoid the axe, and then run back up this ladder, quickly run it around this enemy, like so, and hug his body as you run around him, and I'll avoid his attack. Drop down, grab a red herb, and pull a lever. Right, quickly get through here. Carefully don't die. There's a second bug. So, yep, kill that second bug, guys. Make sure you grab the loot it drops. Almost forgot then. Right, through here. Now, it's going to be two enemies, two or three enemies when you come in here, come back in here. So, I'm going to kill this one quickly in this corridor. And then I'm going to make way to his treasure. There will be another enemy coming up behind you. So just make sure you're aware of him. Right, grab the treasure. Right, I'm going to let a trap kill him for me. Yep, the depraved idol. Yeah, sometimes if they're sprinting after you, they can actually get through the trap before it kills them. But if they do that, you can just shoot them in the leg and then they'll fall down underneath it and get flattened afterwards. Right, loot them two crates. And there's an the item on this sandbag here. Have I got it already? Yes, yeah, the item's on the sandbag just there. May maybe I've already got it. Yeah, secure the archer. There you go. Then come through this piston. Stop between them. There's a treasure above your head. Did I get the treasure? Did I get that treasure there? Hold on, hold on. Let me rewind a second. Yeah, third bug is here, guys. Just on the ceiling there. Yeah, but I did forget that treasure. I don't know how. I think when I come through a piston, I thought about it. And then somehow I just forgot it when I got through. Yeah, between the last two pistons, there is a treasure on the ceiling. A trinket. Shoot it down and grab it. I can't remember what treasure it is, sorry. But it's definitely one there. Right, and now what we're going to do, we're just going to bait them two down to us. Because it's going to be tricky shooting that crossbow enemy from here. With this um, crossbow. Uh, sorry, crossbow. The sweeper, because it's just it's too accurate, far too accurate to shoot him. So he's going to lure these two down here, so the archer can't get you. Then once you kill him, you're going to sprint over to the archer on the stairwell, so you've got a good line of fire, and then kill all the enemies which come down to you as well. So you can try to just stun him from here, so you can get up there. Right, so you're going to kill all the enemies which come down to you. You've got an archer and two more enemies should spawn. You've got one with a golden helmet. Yeah, ignore me here. For some reason, I don't think I explored that small, this small part before. I'm just checking it. Yeah, so once you kill them three, there are more enemies. So do not let your hair down just yet. Yeah, loot them two barrels. Come up here. There'll be an archer up here. All we're going to do, we're going to run up and shoot the explosive barrel. That'll kill all them instantly. Boom. Kaboom. Right, and then that one at the top there, that'll kill that archer. Then loot this barrel, and the item say dropped, and the two enemies which come down the steps. Now, an enemy will spawn behind you here. I'm not sure where he is, but he does come from behind. So that's why I keep checking behind me. There he is. Where did he come from? He come from out that corner, it looked like. Yeah, it's like he just pops out, he spawns in the corner when you get so far up steps. Sneaky. But yeah, just watch out. When you go up the steps, an enemy will spawn behind you. Right, carrying up. All the enemies are dead right now. And loot that. 
Yeah, even on my no bonuses run, I do kill most of them. I think I kill the first half, and then I flash the last. I mean, a flash grenade, that's what I use. Right, so um, once we're near the docks, I'm going to loot this barrel, guys, and go down the elevator. Right, in here guys. Yeah, we can kill these two now. I actually got hit here in my no bonus run just because it this guy normally sprints to you, but he didn't in my no bonuses, so these these ones it probably is a lot better to kill them all. Even on your no bonuses. If I was to redo my no bonuses, I think I would kill these two. Yeah, get that treasure. The brass pocket watch. Loot the crate. And then there's one more enemy with a scythe. He's probably heard you and are making his way up. There he is. He's normally a bit further down, but if he heard you. Yeah, we'll come up to see what the noise is all about. Damn it. Right, come down guys and grab the boat key. And that is chapter 5 done. Right, so chapter 6. Chapter 5 is the longest one, I think. Yeah, so kill him. The sweeper. Grab the two crates inside the tent. Loot them two crates and then climb the ladder. There is one more enemy around here. I'm surprised he doesn't find me. Yeah, he's obviously gone looking for me after hearing that noise. But I got through here without having to kill him. He, I guess he was one of the lucky, lucky ones. Yeah, loot them two lockers. Loot the two barrels. Head outside and take a left. Yeah, I'm just waiting for him to pop up anywhere. Like I said, he was the lucky one. Or maybe one of the clever ones. Yeah, they come here, guys, into the massive warehouse. Right, so take a right and grab his treasure. The crystal ore. Awesome, yeah. Okay, we got that. Head around to the back. Now there's going to be three enemies here. Two have got helmets on. Two have got helmets. So you're going to have to go for body shots. Or groin shots. Groin shots will probably do more damage. Well, do more um, mental damage anyway. If, if they survive. Yeah, come out here. And loot the barrel. And also take the yellow herb. Loot the gunpowder from the side of the monitor. Look at these two crates, come outside, and there's a treasure here. Just up there. I had to come back up for that on my no bonuses one because I forgot it. I remembered it when I got to the bottom, but then I had to come back up for it. Yeah, kill these two. I said, I mean, they brought the lift up to you. should probably thank them, but they're only going to attack us when they get off. So I'm just going to do to them what they're going to do to me. So yeah, kill them and then take the lift back down, guys. Yeah, one second. I was just having to think. I was pondering. Yeah, loot them two crates. Loot them two crates over there. Now here, I did kill all the enemies. It was unnecessary, I know. Yeah, grab the green herb. In my no bonus run, I don't bother killing them all. You can actually despawn all these enemies and then come back and grab the loot. But I just, I think I just wanted to kill him to get the... Um... Yeah, you can hand that request into him, the bug buster. 
Yeah, I think I just wanted to kill him because I want to see what the pig the pigs drop. Yeah, so all the expensive treasure that you can't combine. Sell your knife, sell your hand grenade, sell your ammo, sell the green, red, yellow mix. I'm finally selling my rifle ammo. Yep, sell it all. And also sell your blast arrows. Do not need them anymore. I know I've got 11 tickets. Why did I buy them? It was for testing purposes, okay? Before anybody asks. Sometimes you just need the money to buy things and test them out. You know, what, what would this fight be like with max upgrade if I upgraded this? What would this fight be like if I bought this and upgraded that? Etc, etc. It's good for testing. Okay, so do I buy any upgrade? No. So I still need a little bit more to fully upgrade my sweeper. Alright, so up here guys. You can on me if you watch my known bonus run, I run straight, I run straight up here. I don't pause for a few seconds like I did then. I don't even do this. I run straight in between these two. Up here. Pass this guy. Up here. I lob a flash here. And then it also lob a flash around the corner as well. Because I paused, because I took a bit too long, these enemies are actually a bit closer. But normally, these enemy, two of these enemies will just be coming through the door. So that enemy wouldn't be blocking that I ran into. He would be near the pig guy. If I was a bit quicker. You can see my no bonus from, but yeah. And he's blocking my way. So I'm going to have to lob another flash. But yeah, normally you come straight up here. You'd only need two flashbangs. You can easily avoid the enemies. And once you go through here and trigger the cutscene, all the enemies in this room despawn. And you can come back through this door, guys, and grab all the loot. But I don't know why I decided to do this. I just decided to turn around and kill them all. So he dropped a sapphire, that guy. There's actually treasure hanging from the crane. So yeah, do I kill him, do I not kill him? To be or not to be? Yeah, I couldn't decide. And now I did. It's been set. Yes, you got a pig guy there, watch out for him. That guy's got armor on his body. So make sure you go for headshot or leg shots even. Yeah, because this weapon's just awesome for stunning enemies, the basic types. I mean, it just stun locks them. Like I said, I think I was just having a bit of fun with this. The shield guy just spammed his legs with bullets, with holes, and he won't know what to do. He'll be jigging all over the shop. His shield will become pretty much 100% ineffective. At that point, he's just holding dead weight, I guess. Yeah, now we're going to grab all the loot. you got them two barrels up there. Drop down. You've got a treasure trinket hanging on the crane arm. Yep, that's got a red barrel in sight. I do get that treasure on my no bonuses. But because I come in after the enemies have despawned, it's like no trouble anyway. Yeah, loot the crate. I just got a spinal there as well. A random spinal. Obviously, it's random to get them from crates. Completely random. 100% RNG. Right, come in here. And there'll be a cutscene. Welcome back, stranger. Yeah, Gary will be down here. Oh, yeah, there's a locker here. Don't forget to loot it. Yeah, always a resource small in there. Here he is. We're going to make a safe here as well. What are you buying? I'm not buying, but I'm selling. We're going to sell resource small. <laughs> That's all by the looks of it. Don't get your knickers in a twist, right? Yeah, we're going to make a save here. Save number seven. Yeah, that's a request. What's that? Ornate beetle. Yeah, we're actually going to do that request now. Because it's quite easy with a sweeper. Right, drop down here. Right, get the rifle ammo on the table behind you. Loot these two crates. Come in here. I'm going to kill the three enemies first before I grab the loot. Yeah, so kill all these. That one's got a shield. Or oh, did he have a shield? They're not sure what I mean body armor. Metal body armor, did he? Yeah, so make sure all these three are dead. If you think they might be alive, just put about a thousand more bullets into them. Yeah, smash the glass, grab the rifle ammo, green herb, and the gunpowder. Right, so this guy, he's got an ornate beetle inside his ass. So we're going to have to kill him for it. Unless you want to stick your hand in there. 
but I'd advise just to kill him. That's it. It's great on these because it just unlocks them. I think it's actually better than the hand cannon. The hand cannon doesn't seem to work as well on these. Yes, it does more damage, of course. But it's, it's diff more difficult to unlock them because, um, obviously, it's much, much lower fire rate. Yeah, so grab the ornate beetle that he drops. Right, come in here. Smash that glass because there's some gunpowder. Loot that crate. Come to the back here. Loot these two crates. And come to the top. Yeah, loot this glass here for a resource large, which is always in there. It's always large. And yeah, I'm not going to kill him. It's just going to bait him around the desks in the middle. And then come up here. Right, in the um, facility. Come all the way to the back here. Into this room. Smash the two crates and smash the glass cabinet at the back. Take the velvet blue. And um, the gunpowder times five. And now we're going to get this other ornate beetle. But this one's being guarded by another regenerator. But with the sweeper, we can just unlock him again. That's it. Just As his parts grow back, just shoot him off. Yeah, shoot his penis off probably about 20 times. That's it. Shoot his legs off and his arms, his fingernails, everything. Basically, any piece of his anatomy, shoot it off. And he'll be dead. Yeah, grab the ruby he drops. And grab the ornate beetle. I can't believe they only drop a bit, uh, ruby. Do they drop some more expensive on the um, on the main game? I don't know. But anyway, come in the freezer. Yeah. Grab the um, crate. It's a bit nippy in your dress, so try to be quick in here. Yeah, come in here and um, open this valve. And grab the item inside. Whatever it may be. And then pick up the power cell. Right, once the lights go out, turn around. Now I've obtained the power unit. That was bound to happen, yeah. If you take out the power unit, the power is bound to go out. Take it from Ada. Yep, there is um, an enemy down here. Be ready to kill him. He's got a spider on his back. Be ready to kill a spider when it bounces off. It, ne it needs a healthy host. So if you kill the host, it will just jump off naturally. Right, come to the kitchen. Go left. Take the rifle ammo. Smash the crate. Loot the fridge. For the modi... Yeah, the gunpowder, sorry. Yeah, take the black bass from the oven. Take the crate and also loot this chest, guys. For the golden links. Right, now we're going to kill this regenerator. This one you want to kill. I don't kill it on my um, no bonuses. I actually loot him back into the kitchen and around the pillar in the middle. But we've got infinite ammo, so we're going to kill him here. Because the next regenerator, the spike one, there's no good way to get past him. So we actually want to bait him. Well, we don't want to bait him, so we're going to kill him with the, sweep, with the sweeper. That's it. Once you kill that one, loot it. Loot this dustbin. Or whatever it may be inside there. Now, yeah, kill this guy. Yeah, don't do it this way. Let him get a bit closer to you so your bullets hit more. Of course, each time he lobs his spikes, you're going to have to duck behind the wall. Like so. Yeah, this took me literally about 10, 10, 10 billion rounds of ammo. Yeah, don't do it this way. I think I hit the wall more times than I hit him. Yeah, stop firing. Let him come closer so you've got better accuracy. It did take me a while to work out. Well, I kept thinking he's got to die. He's going to die any minute now. Well, any second now, surely. So I just kept firing. Knew in any second could be the last for him. But no, he just kept withstanding all my bullets. He's taking him like a right man. Yeah, I think he's got invincibility on him. Or he's just got. I think he's got a massive stash of first aid sprays in his pocket. But anyway, yeah, just won't kill him. Just stop firing. Opti, come on. Put your gun down. Let go of the trigger. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Okay, maybe you want to come back to the video in five minutes, guys.
Bloody hell, how long could it take me to work it out? Yeah, this, like I say, you know, the second half, I'm just sort of, it's my first time going through it with a sweeper. Finally! Yeah, let him come closer to you guys so you're going to have a better grouping. It's kind of obvious, the bigger the target, the easier they are to hit. And the closer they are to you, the bigger they are. You know, it's like, it's like that saying, objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. And that rings very true here. I got him. So obviously use, you're using the wall for cover. Yep, take the Illuminados pendant. I never knew what he dropped. I think that sells for 25k. So killing him is actually quite helpful. Yeah, you can loot that locker, loot these crates, loot that crate, grab the item on the left here, uh, gunpowder, loot the cabinet, loot that crate, come out here, loot that crate, and there's a locked drawer there. Yep, they're just there. I don't loot it. If you wanted, we've got plenty of spinals. You could go and talk to Gary, buy a small key, go back and unlock it. But it's no need, guys. We don't need the money. Right, so back to Gary. Unlock this door. Take a left, and that'll take you back to him. Right, let's see if I can finally upgrade my sweeper to max power. Yeah, I'm going to craft some more flash grenades first. What can I interest you in? I'll buy almost anything. <laughs> I knew you were a go -getter. Well, we finally, fine, Max upgraded it. Now we are going to need a RPG, guys, for Chapter Seven. So remember, just make sure you keep 160k flat. So don't just go spending your money on whatever. You know, we do need to keep a bit of money flat. Alright, so next up is the um, cable right, the cable cast. And there's actually two boxes here I didn't see before. I didn't know these were here. So first of all, on the right, it's going to be rifle ammo and a crate. Yeah, and then just through this doorway on the right, yep, two crates. I didn't know they were there. First time I've noticed them. Right, come over here and loot these two barrels. Right, you can try and shoot that guy if you want, but you're probably just going to miss him. Right, and get onto the cable right. Yep, so um, just pick off all the enemies as you come down it. I think it takes like a few shots from the um, Chicago typewriter to hit them or sweeper. Wow, this is not good for sniping. Yeah, if you're, if you're going to put a Stingray at level 10 for sniping ability, this would be level 1, I think, or probably level 0. It wouldn't even be on the chart. Yeah, so watch out for that rocket launcher guy down there. Make sure you pick him off as soon as you can. Yeah, that guy on the left, which eventually spawns. I guess at least with this you've got a good chance of hitting the bolts as they come flying your way. Right, there'll be one more enemy. There she is. Stop her in her tracks. Right, next up is the defensive line. Carnival right. Right, loot that crate. Yep, and now this is a carnival. Yep, take the um whatever you find in that dumpster. Loot the two crates there. Right, I'm gonna buy this stingray from him quickly and the high powered scope. Just so we can get I'm actually gonna destroy his turrets. You don't have to do this, you do not have to destroy these turrets. It's completely up to you. But it just makes it so you can get a treasure, I guess, at the start. You can just go past them, keep them to the right, and then grab pull up the part on the right at the end. So here, watch where I shoot. When it's turning all the way to the left, you'll see the light in a minute. There you go, you see? You see it illuminate. Sorry, I was a bit quick there. Um, I do do it a bit slower on my no bonuses run. Yeah, grab bug buster and shoot that bug. That's bug number one. Yeah, you've got to be quick from to shoot that um, turret near Gary. You can just see where I'm shooting it from. You know when it, you know when I shot in it exploded. That explosion lit up the um, walls around it, and you can see it's sort of similar to where you have to shoot, and where you might be shooting the wall. 
Now here, you can just see that red bell. There, you see that red bell, just the corner of it? There you go. Shoot that. That's both tourists destroyed, guys. Right, now it's going to grab a loot in the area. You've got a few crates behind here. Yeah, you see that grapple point to the right? If you don't kill the tourists, just go at the grapple points. But if you want to get this loot in this um, dumpster, yeah, just here, you have to destroy the turrets. Gold bar. Right, and then we're going to go up the middle. Yep, so um, on my no bonus run, I don't kill any of these. I just flash my way through. Yeah, flash to win here. Um, you've got plenty of flash grenades. Even on my no bonuses, I have plenty of flash grenades. So, yeah, but here I kill most of them. Just because, why not? Yeah, all you have to do is activate that turret on my right. Yeah, it's actually a guy above me on the right here. I didn't realise he was there. That's where the um, dynamite's coming from. Yeah, above me. Yeah, luckily that didn't damage me. Yeah, above me now on the left. There's a dynamite guy. Yeah, so like I say, this is unnecessary. You can just flash your way through. Luckily I just saw that dynamite come in. Right, let's push on a bit. Yeah, so all you have to do, you have to trigger this turret here. Yeah, to move it along so you can get past. Right, I'm just thinking where that dynamite goes. And this is when I worked out where it was. Yeah, there she is. Yeah, so you move that turret so you can get past that laser. Yeah, it's a barrel there. I guess there's a green herb next to it. Right, and then once you get to about here, a load more enemies spawn. Right, I normally lob a flash there while doing no bonuses. Just because there's going to be a... There's got enemies coming behind you. And there will be from the front. So you want to try to get in front of all of them. Yep, just look at this massive horde of enemies which has spawned. So you can use that barrel to destroy a lot of them. Yeah, you need to get across this bridge quickly. Otherwise that green laser is going to hit you. They'll hit you with a minigun. Right, you flash them and then you move his turret. That actually does quite a bit of damage to them because they run through the laser of the turret. Yeah, right, you want to lob another flash. You have to do this bit. And then you need to shoot that barrel. There's a barrel. There it is. You can actually use... You've got a stingray, you could use that if you wanted. Just be very careful here with your flashbangs. You have to be very, very quick. But this is where all the flashbangs come in handy. Yeah, this is, again, completely unnecessary. Yeah, looking back, I wished I just got through this area quickly. Yeah, so what does that pig guy drop? Probably something really lame. Like one gunpowder or something like that. No, it's probably like a ruby. Yeah, just a ruby. Yeah, so enemies are still coming. Yeah, I think I just gave up at this point and thought, nah. Because it's possible the enemies just keep spawning. It's possible. I mean, I can't say for sure. But I did give up these guys and just decided to push on. Right, let's do it, guys. <laughs> let's crack on finally. Yeah, so you jump back over here. Right. Let's set him on fire. Yeah, burn in hell. Yeah, you come back down here to the middle. And now you can get across. Just make sure you destroy that turret on the right before you do this. Otherwise, it'll kill you as you try to cross a bridge. Yeah, grapple across. Yeah, we can shoot the other two bugs from here. This is how I do it on my no bonuses run. You can see one bug there. There are also some, there's some crates up that ladder, by the way. I'm not going to bother getting them. And there's also a bug over there. You can just actually shoot it from here. Yeah, probably not for the sweeper. Oh, got it. Yeah, it's basically attached just to the side of that tower on the right. Which I was aiming at. Right, drop down this hole once you've done. Once you shot all three bugs. 
Remember, one bug was at the start of the defensive line, and then other two were shot from near the end. Right, there's a treasure there. There's a sapphire. Come here, the code for this is, um, is it 116? Yeah, 116. I've not quite memorized them, bit yet, them bits yet. Because this part here, I've not really had to do this bit many times. It's, this part's very, very simple. And it's very linear as well. And there's not really much to collect. Right, so straight away, just sprint away from this guy. Do not give him a chance to catch up. Turn that valve to um, disable the leak, leaking pipe. Carry on through and through this gap. Just in the nick of time. Right, crouch beneath this little crawl space and carry on along it, guys. Right, once you get out, smash this crate on the left. Take a left over here, and there'll be another little cutscene with this big guy. This looks like all the last plagos all combined into one. Right, turn around, try not to get trapped. I always get trapped there for some reason. Now, the code for this is um, uh, 90, yeah, 906. Yeah, it's a 906. Head on through and then quickly grapple ahead. I'm sure you can get instant kill there if you take too long. It's not happened to me yet. So you probably have to be very, very slow for it to happen. Right, loot them two crates and be ready. There is a guy in this door. If you made any noise, he will come out like he just did for me. Yeah, put him back down on his, on his back. And loot the ornate necklace from there. Loot the two crates. Come outside. Yeah, you can put two red bells into that and uh, two rubies. Nice. Remember, we are going to have to buy the RPG. But it's still quite a lot of treasure to go yet. Right, so we've got the laser passage. If you sprint forward straight away, you can avoid the first, the first batch of lasers. Obviously, this one crouch beneath it. And in here, do some cra crazy gymnastics to get past it. But all you have to do... It's press a circle button. Not really that difficult. Right, code for this, I think it's 116. Uh, sorry, no, 769. 116 was the first one. Yes, yeah, 769. Do that crate. Right, and then connect the device. Right, with our exit open. Okay. I'm done here. Yeah, the exit has been revealed. Make our way back through this laser passage. Yeah, just make sure you're ready. So press circle again. Make sure you do a bit of stretching. Yep, circle again, be ready for that. At least the QTEs are much easier than the original game. And again, circle and then R1. That's it, I'm giving a little not present to sniff on the way out. Yeah, there we go. Right, that's chapter 6 done, guys. One more to go. This is a very quick chapter. Very, very quick. Leon's headed for their sanctuary. Right, I'll Leon's headed for the sanctuary. We're going to meet him there. So right, let's loot the two barrels first. Right, what you can do now, um, yeah, hand in the bug buster request. Get rid of the sniper, you don't need it no more. Sell your gold bar, sell your ornate necklace, assuming you've combined all the reds with it. Sell your hand grenades. Sell your handgun ammo and rifle ammo. Sell your small resource. And sell the stingray, I guess. Or keep it in your 
Item storage is up to you. Right. You can buy the red bell. And then in the golden links you can put um, three ruby, uh, sorry, two rubies and a red barrel. Right, sell that back to him. Here you go, mate. You can have that rarest treasure for a bargain. Right, send it storage. You're still going to need some flash grenades, so make sure you've always got some of them handy. Right, I'm going to make a save here. This is going to be our last save. This is a good spot too. It's a quick chapter. If you make any mistakes throughout any part of the chapter. Yes, I know you've got to restart the whole thing, but I think it's a good spot to make a save. Right, I'm going to buy the Ada, Ada Wong special um, charm from him. I'm going to trade it. Yeah, the Ada Wong special. You don't really need it, if I'm honest. But we'll buy it anyway. It's pretty cool one to have, you know, pull shields off enemies. Yeah, just make sure you equip it afterwards. Always forget to do that. Yeah, equip the Ada Wong charm. Right, we're going to kill all the enemies here. You can flash your way through this. But it's a bit tricky because at the end, three enemies come down on a lift. And one of them is a pig man. And you can't use a lift when the enemies are too close to it. So you have to sort of bait them away. It's, it's something like about six steps. If they're within six steps of the elevator, you can't use it. So you have to sort of bait them away. And if you don't kill any of the enemies, it's a bit tricky. So you have to bait, you have to flash the enemies behind you. And then the enemies near the lift come to you and then flash them. And make sure they're not too close or they don't recover quick enough. By the time you get to the lift, you know that it becomes inactive again. So yeah, it's a bit tricky. So at the end on my no bonuses run, we did end up just killing all of these. Using a mixture of the rifle and um, the black tail, the stingray and the black tail. But of course we've got a sweeper. So this bit is mega easy. I think two of these guys have got shields on them. Uh, sorry, body armour. Uh, metal body armour. So make sure you go for the legs. I can't actually tell which one I'm hitting. So I'm just going by le the legs for on the more play it safe. Yeah, watch out for spider. There will be a spider around the corner. If it's not on the back of somebody, it might come crawling towards you. Do not let it get near you because it implant an egg inside you. Yeah, I loot them barrels in the corner there. The crates. I'm going to craft some more flash. Right, grab the um, shotgun bullets and the flash grenade. Crouch beneath there. I don't know why. I've got infinite ammo. I could just um, shoot them. Thing is, on my no bonuses run, I lure these first two enemies into it. And then I just bait the um, pig guy around a rock. And then I run to the exit. But yeah, because we've got infinite ammo, we can just kill them all. Yep, yeah, leave them on a lift. You know I said the lift will not work with enemies on. But it will with dead enemies. Dead enemies are okay. So he drops a red bell. Wow. So the um, the minigun pigs, they drop a red bell, I guess. Right, up here, take a right and loot these two crates to begin with. Loot this gunpowder on there. Grab the yellow herb and also grab the flash grenade. Right, you see this guy with the red beret? Yep, kill him and then pick up his beret. That sells to 10,000. Is it Krausus? I don't know. Right, gonna kill these so I can get a treasure. What I normally did. Okay, I got it by an axe. Even with infinite ammo, I got damaged. Yeah, so in my no bonus, I just lobbed a flash, I grabbed the treasure, lobbed another flash, and then ran straight to the exit. Because these guys just use up too much ammo. There's a lot of power sites. Obviously, you've got the shield guy. Yeah, I didn't bother. Yeah, grab the staff of royalty. Grab all the loot. You got some handgun bullets there and some crates at the back. Yep, and then use the lift, guys. This will take you up to the boss. Yeah, so um, you want to RPG this guy straight away. You can hit him straight away. Just aim up slightly and fire. Or just fire where it is, where the aim is always set at when the, you get control back after the cutscene. And um, that will kill him anyway. Yeah, grab the Juice Tisha statue. Come here, guys, to see Gary. Grab the first aid spray. This is your last meeting. So if you've got any 
any debt on your tab, pay it off now. Yep, so all your treasure. Obviously, never say diamonds or anything you can combine unless I do. Yep, so I'm going to sell some flash grenades. I'm going to sell all my sort of ammo types. I'm going to sell my small resource. I'm going to keep the first ace spray just in case we need it. Yeah, you might, just in case you get damaged anywhere. You know, on the escape sequence. It shouldn't happen, but you never know. It's always better to have a gun and not need it than to not need one. And have one, I guess. Is that the, is that the way of the saying? I think so. I think she got a bit mixed up, the words. Right, kill this guy. Uh, sorry, kill the bug. And kill the other bug on the wall on the left. Right, shoot down that treasure. The ruby. Loot the two crates. Smash these two crates, guys. And then trigger the fight with Sadler. I guess you'll see here how effective the sweeper is against him. It's not very effective. As you can see, it doesn't really still knock him. Even go for headshots. I mean, it does a little bit. But yeah, his attacks can get through. So yeah, just start with the RPG, guys. Straight away, kaboom. Blow him to kingdom come. Yep, yeah, you know, flock this shit. Yeah, no BS. Just give him an RPG and say sayonara. And then you'll be here on the escape. And we need to obtain a powerful weapon because we just used ours. We've got to get another one. And Gary has actually... He's already deserted the island. He wasn't messing about. He was on the first plane out of here. Right, so that's the weapon we want, the red warhead. With a custom paint job. Right, smash the two crates. Loot the green herb, guys. Run straight along here. You can avoid this first rocket. Just carry on. As long as you're quick, he you shouldn't get a chance to um, press the trigger button. That's it. I think he was drunk. That's why he can't aim straight. Even on professional. Right, love that there. Yeah, professional alcoholic. Make sure flash grenade lands in this sort of path. Otherwise, that guy might not get stunned. Quickly grapple across. Now, you want to lob a flash here. I lob a flash on my no bonuses. But you'll see what happens in a second, because I don't. Yep, that happens. So, yeah, just lob a flash. Shoot this trip wire. Run past. Don't bother killing that guy, because that's what will happen. Yeah, loot this gunpowder. Loot these two crates. And pull the shield off this guy. And he'll fall down the steps. Just step to one side as he falls down, that's it, and then walk past him. Or over him. Come along here guys, grab this flash grenade, and then lob a flash over here. Try not to leave it too long. Luckily I parry that attack, but yeah, try not to leave it too long before you lob a flash. Otherwise you might get attacked during the animation. Smash a padlock, come through here. There'll be two rocket launchers here, just quickly run towards the ladder, and they will not get a chance to fire. Again, more drunk guys with rocket launchers. I have had them shoot me when I was at the top of the ladder before. I was invincible because I was in the climbing animation, but it killed both of them. Hopefully I can replicate it. And somehow, I got a shot here. Yes, yeah, so there's loads of loot around this corner. Yeah, I don't know where that rocket come from. I have no idea. Actually, it might be the guy from down below. I bet the two rocket guys are just on the left there, down below. And he, I guess he shot upwards. Yeah, so just be careful. Yeah, I think it's just down there. Yeah, so just be careful there about the rocket guys. Right, so once you've got this special warhead. Yeah, grapple across the crane. And kill this guy over here first with the rocket launcher. Kill him first before you go too far forward. Because when you go too far forward, the bugs are going to spawn. Right. Lob a flash grenade to um, stun the bugs. Yep, yeah, any you didn't stun. Finish him off with a sweeper. Right, and then take out the tentacle by shooting its weak point, of course. Grapple across and then kill these two rocket launcher enemies. Right, grapple across here. Now get ready with a flash. Either flash or kill them all. I just lob a flash. So flash once they come in. Shoot the tentacle. And then get ready with another flash because a few more spawn in. One will be a pig guy. Yes, yeah, so another flash and then quickly use the elevator. And then that's pretty much it. 
make sure you crouch because they will lob an axe at you while you are on the lift. Just because you're on the lift doesn't mean you are safe from incoming damage. Right, hello chicken. The chicken meets the armor, the suit of armor. And no, that suit of armor does not drop a spinal. Right, up here. Activate the crane. Right, and we're going to send Leon his rocket launcher. Luckily for Leon, I've got a grappling hook. What do you have done about this rocket launcher? That's what friends are for, I guess. Right, there you go. That's what subs are for. Yep, so that's it, guys. The um, separate ways, professional S plus using bonuses. Remember, I have got a bonus walkthrough. Uh, sorry, no bonuses if you want to do it without all the extra items. But where's the fun in that? Yep, so that's it, guys. My professional S plus for Ada Wong. So I'll leave you to it, guys. Hopefully, you've got your cat ears now so you can do whatever you want. The problem is now you have cat ears and everything unlocked, there's not really much else to do. Unless, I guess, you want to finish all the challenges. Um, but yeah, that's my S plus, guys. Thank you for watching, and hopefully, I see you on the next video, which should be perhaps Lies of P. Finally, I might start my platinum walkthrough. Other than that, I might put the final videos for DMC5. But nonetheless, Lies of P will probably be my next main game to go up. Right, catch you next time, guys.